today we are going to be taking a look at the Nintendo DSi in 2020. Let's dive right in. So I got this DSi last summer. We're just going to be talking about a few things. Well, this was Nintendo's first home screen design in their handheld consoles. It even came with the Nintendo DSi shop which, by the way, has one of the greatest soundtracks of all time. Let's hop into some Super Mario Brothers. Alright, let's go. And so you notice that on the console, the screen has three different angles that the hinge can rest on. I, uh, personally this so there's enough space for your fingers because if it's down here you don't have much space for your fingers and you can actually position it at any angle pretty much seeing how this console is 12 years old and was lacking in graphical capabilities compared to the psp or ps vita they're fine on such a small screen and you know what for console like the DSi, graphics don't really matter, because this isn't a console that you're going to be gaming seriously on, and especially since online play has become no longer available, just a console that you can play the games that you love to play on, and doesn't really matter. Performance doesn't matter. Temperatures don't matter. Latest processor doesn't matter. For me, playing it is a lot just nostalgia. You can press the power button once to return to the home screen, and let's test out the camera application. So there is actually a front camera as well as a back camera. It's not very good. And there is no video. Let's go start. Let's take a picture of me. By the way, this is the first video uh, for YouTube that I've recorded on my iPhone 12 mini, and it is recording in 4K60. You can also click the L or R button to capture. Switch it. And you know what? The back camera's quality isn't any better. And just from looking at it, sensors appear to be the same size. And normally, like on the phone, uh, the front facing for your selfies is slightly worse, but not in this case, it's the same. <laughs> Can't argue with battery life. Battery life is some of the best in a handheld gaming system, including smartphones. So you can do Nintendo DSi sound, you can have some fun in that. This device also could be connected to a network to play online games such as Mario Kart. Alright, on the side here we have an SD card slot. I have a one gigabyte sand disk, which I guess was for Wii. You can use this to save applications and game data, as well as you can use it for transferring your save data to a Nintendo 3DS cartridges look like this about twice the thickness of an sd card and significantly wider just nice because you get more real estate for the game label should be noted that all consoles in the nintendo ds family have local multiplayer connection abilities for today just wanted to do a quick throwback to the nintendo dsi thank you guys for watching comment like and subscribe and we'll see you in the very next video